It's cataractcoach.com with a case of a posterior plaque. So look at the video there. You can see the posterior capsule has this very centrally dense posterior subcaps or cataract. And that's going to be adherent. I'm going to show you my way of safely and quickly removing that plaque. So we're going to fill our anterior chamber with viscoelastic. There's the wave of dispersive viscoelastic coating the endothelium. Time to hold the eye with our fixation ring. We'll use our keratome to make a temporal incision. Starting at the limbal vessels, appropriate tunnel length, that's all it takes. For the rexus, we're going to use our uh, forceps to create a round, circular, about five or five and a half millimeter caps rexus. We don't want a baby size rexus, we want just big enough to overlap the optic, which is six millimeters, so somewhere in the five and a half millimeter range would be perfect. There's the rexus being completed. Balance salt solution on a blunt cannula for our hydrodissection. We're going to do a few fluid waves there. Notice how we tilt the nucleus up out of the capsule bag and also how we re-inflate the eye with viscoelastic. Faco probe going in the eye here. There's the faco probe on the right hand, chopper on the left hand. We have a high flow rate, 50 cc's a minute, vacuum 500, power about 50%. Chop the nucleus in half, now chop it again in quarters, and we just emulsify the pieces. The key here is to keep the phaco probe in the center of the eye and use the chopper to keep the cataract pieces, the nuclear pieces, in front of the phaco probe. So we emulsify the ones that are there. We're operating at about the iris plane. We're not near the corneal endothelium. We're at the iris plane. That's a big, a big differentiation, a very important point there. Removing the remainder of the lens nucleus, and just like that, we're done with nucleus removal. We'll switch over to the IA probe to remove the cortex. And here's where we're going to end up seeing the posterior plaque. So our settings here for IA, about 40 cc's a minute of flow, 500 or more of a millimeter of mercury for vacuum and a good infusion rate on the high end. We're going to use the probe to go circumferentially to remove the lens cortex. And you're going to see at the end here, we're going to have a central posterior plaque. There it is. You see it. How do we get that plaque off? I do not use a capsule polishing settings. No. Watch, watch this. Probe at the 45 degree mark, scrape it a little bit, and remove it. How did I do this? The foot pedal is about half of maximum vacuum. I'm not on a special setting, I'm on my normal cortex removal setting. The port, if you saw the video, was at about a 45 degree angle. Not facing the capsule, not facing the corneal epithelium, about halfway between 45 degrees. That allows us to remove that central plaque. And we use the, the physical or mechanical effort of the tip of the probe touching and scraping the posterior capsule to lift up that plaque. And then the low level of vacuum will wolf it down. IOL is being placed in the capsule bag. Here we see it. Then being rotated to the appropriate position. This patient is hyperopic. It's a small eye a small white to white, and that's why the six millimeter optic of this case looks so positively huge. Removing the viscoelastic from behind the eye well, and removing the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber, that looks pretty good. Lens is beautifully centered, and you can see that the capsular rexus will overlap the optic for a full 360 degrees. Hydrating up and sealing the main incision, and then we'll do the same for a side port. So this is my technique for removal of a posterior plaque. I use the same vacuum setting as Cortex. I just put my foot only halfway on the pedal and I keep the tip of the port at about a 45 degree angle. I encourage you to try it for yourself. Thank you for watching.